Hello everyone. This is a class of ECE 317 Digital Signal Processing. Welcome. Uh, today the Wednesday of the third week and uh, we will have the first homework due today. Uh, for the homework, uh, because we are uh, we can work as a group, right? Two or three work together. So when you submit the paper, you can only submit one paper for each group. You don't need everyone submit or any anyone you, you in your group. Anyone in your group submit one paper, they will be fine. The others uh, do not need to submit your papers. But remember, put your name, all the names, in the paper. So make sure uh, everyone we can we can find okay who are working on this group. Then you can have your grade. All right. And another thing is. Even you do not need to submit the paper, you still try to solve the problem. This is very important practice. Uh, the things like, uh, uh, how to say, you know how to do it, and you can really do it. That is different. And between these two, there's a gap. You need practice to go over the gap. The things like uh, you ride the bike. Uh, you look at some other guys. The okay, just sit down and step on the pad, then turn on the turn the uh, how to say the direction bars. Then they can go away. Can you do it? No, you have to practice. You have to practice, right? You should remember uh, when you try to learn how to ride a bike, right? Remember that. Uh, you need practice. Without the practice, you cannot really ride a bike. Yeah, the same thing. In this course, you try to solve problem, right? Uh, digital signal processing. When you face some problem on it, about it, how to solve it? You need to practice. You practice, then you really can do it. Uh, if you do not do not have enough practice, the thing is like you you know how to do it, but you can't do it. Got it? Uh, that's very important. Uh, what else for the homework? Uh, of course, you should know how to f how to uh, upload your homework. Uh, you need to prepare your papers into a PDF file, and then go to Blackboard. You will find the holder, uh, folder. The folder name is Homeworks and Exams. In that folder, you can find Homework One. Then just click on Homework One. You will see a, a web page. That will show you how to submit your papers. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go to the class. Um, this is a ECE three seventeen, the third week, Wednesday class. So we are studying the LTI system. LTI system. Uh, we can represent it in this way. The system I put S here. This is the name of the system. I just use S for the name of this system. You can also like put A, B, C, D. You can use any capital letter for the name of this system, right? And the input input signal is X of N, and output signal is Y of N. And for LTI system, we say. We have two ways to describe this system. The first one is a um, uh, difference equation. So we have summation, sum coefficient a k and y of n minus k equal to summation b k sum x of n minus k for some k. Right. K run from zero to some k, right? Some some like some l. Here's a k run from zero to some n. A different system, then you have different a, b, and l and n. This is the second way to describe system. And the second way, we can just use the impulse response. Suppose the impulse response, which is the output of the system. While your input is dirt of n, now you use dirt of n as the input, then the system gives you output. We suppose this is h, okay. Then y of n 
were equal to input x of n convolution with h of n. So we have two ways. First way, uh, you need to determine y by solve this equation. Right? This is a you cannot get it answered directly from here. You need to make some changes uh, in math way. Right? Uh, in one, the output is. We can make some change. I keep a zero y of n. This is first term, right? A zero y of zero is first term. Now equal to summation of those b k. Oh, my pen is uh, out of ink. Ah, change one. Okay, this one. B k. Okay, b k x. Of m minus k, right? I keep these, and as I subject, because here you have uh, several terms, right? You keep, you just keep the first term here, and uh, you move all the rest to the other side. So the other side is summation of a k y of n minus k, but now k runs from one to m, right? K cannot be zero. Zero is here. I leave zero terms. In the in the left side, and move all the rest to the right. Okay, right? so by this way, uh, we can have y of n, y of n, right? So that means we use x of n, x of n minus one, right here, and k run from zero to capital N, x of n minus capital N, right? And here's y. The first term is y k is one, so is y of n minus one. The next will be n minus two, and here uh, y of n minus m. All of these, you can have y of n, right? Well, uh, you can move this a zero to here, right? So you need to calculate y of n. You based on these values, uh, like this is current value, current time n. This is a uh, one step ahead, one step ago, two step ago, m steps ago, right? Yeah, and these are input. So you can find the output from input and some previous output. You get y. Okay. So by these two way, uh, we can. In both ways, we can find what is output. What is output? All right. Okay. Uh, now we consider more for the convolution. How to calculate the convolution? Right? The important thing is here. Right? Actually, this one is more uh, more useful than this way. This way, you need a uh, you you can calculate one by one, step by step. Every time you can have one of the value, right? You know this value, you know this value, you have y of n. Then you choose a different n, you can have a different value. You choose different n, you can have different value. So for every n, you need to do the calculation. And this way, it gave us uh, like a uniform way, a formula way. You can calculate, find all the solution, right? Okay. We do one more example. A system LTI, of course. LTI system has h of n equal to like uh, just a four, three, two, one. Here's a n equal to zero, and the input. X of n equal to uh, two, three, two, three, two. Okay, and here is a uh, uh, whatever like n is here. N, n n equal to zero is here. Initial time is this this point. Then we need to find find the output y of n. No, we want to find this output. So how to do it? Okay, we just do the convolution. 
uh, y of n will be convolution of input with uh, impulse response impulse response then how to do do this convolution now we have these two numbers right we can work like this you put x and h values you put it in the table x we have two three two three two and h we have four three two one all right, then you do summation. Two times four, you get eight. Three times four is 12. Two four is eight. Three four is 12. Two four is eight. And here is two six, okay, two three six. Three three nine. And six again, the nine and the six. And the two two four, two three six, and the four, and the six, and the four. And the two three, two three two. Okay. So here the x of n, and here are h of n. And what are these values? There are some x times h, right? Time x times h. And uh, the convolution, we know, oh, we'll put it here. We know the convolution x times a uh, convolution with h which is a summation this is definition summation of k run from negative to positive infinite that means all the k's x of k some value of x times h of n minus k you see so convolution you need a summation of x times h right x times h so we need to pick some values to summation to find the final answer. You need to do summation. Right? You sum term now all of these they are multiplication of two x and h, right? Now you need to summation. And what kind of summation? You check here. The index. This is k, this is n minus k. So if this is one, this will be n minus one. If this is 2, this will be n minus 2. And reverse, if this is n, this will be 0. Right? If k is n, this will be 0. Uh, if k is negative 1, here will be n plus 1. But this is a k plus the first index plus second index equal to n. We always have these. All right. Okay, you can look at here. X, this is n equal to zero, and H, this is n equal to zero. Right? Then you look at here. Uh, we, we, you, you can pick any one as your start point. You think about it. Like, I just picked this one. This one is uh, both index uh, zeros for X and H. Then, do we have other terms with same index relation? Okay, this one. This is n equal to 1, and this is n equal to negative 1. Right? So these two index you do summation, you still get 0. Right? Okay, these two terms, this will be in the same summation, with same n. You do summation, you have 18, this one according to n equal to 0. You got it? Yeah. That, uh, here index is 0, index is 0, index is negative 1, index is 1. So both, they have summation, the index, summation of the index is a 0, right? 0 plus 0 is this point. 12, this is 0 plus 0, index is 0 plus 0. And this 6 is index is 1 and the negative 1 summation is also 0 so this is a this to summation and according to n equal to n equal to 0 okay similar thing like I choose this one I use a rectangle uh, I use a, a rectangle for this this is a and here's n equal to 
1, right? Is it n equal to 1? Here's n equal to 0, equal to 1. So the summation of index is 1. Okay, now you pick all the element with index to summation is 1. Okay, that will be this one, right? You see? Index is 0 plus 1. This is 9. And this one. The index is a negative 1 plus 2. N equal to 2. This index is n equal to 2. Then you do summation. You get uh, what is this? It's a 13 plus 8. is 21. 21. 21. This is n equal to 1. Alright. Similar. Next, you do summation along this way, right? You see? The first two elements and then third three elements. Now we have four. All of these, the time index, like six, the time index is one plus one is two, right? So this one according to n equal to two. And the value will be summation of these four numbers. So 12, 18, 18, uh, here's 2, which is 20, right? 12, 18, 20, 26, 26, this is 26, all right, similar, right, similar, you, you can have the regulation, right, this is, the, to this summation, then we have, uh, this one go to here, this one go to here, and this one, we have uh, 17, 21, 21, 24, 21 plus 3, right? 24. And uh, the other one is 12 plus 2. 12 plus 2, 14. And this is 7, 2. Okay, so we have our result. So I'll see uh, this one, right? The y of n will be the convolution of x and h. Now the values are 18, 21, 26, 24, 14, 7, 2. And uh, n equal to 0 is this uh, 18. Oh, I have one more element a here. I forgot this. This one, just one, ter one term. a. I need a here. I'm uh, writing it, sorry. Yeah, last, last one. So, y of n were equal to first element 8, then 18, then 21, then 26, then 24, then 14, and the 7, and the 2. And n equal to 0 is this 18. Okay, so this is the output. This is the output. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Now we try again. Now, if input is x of n equal to uh, u of n, unit step function. What is the output? What is the output? Uh, we use, uh, we consider the same system, right? Same system. Same system. Uh, yeah, same system. All right. Same system. We know H, but now we use different input. I use different input. Now what is output? Okay, we do the same thing. Now we. Uh, x and h. I put x here, h here. The x will be u of n, so I put one zeros. Then one, 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 one. Okay, one forever. And the h is four, three, two, one. We do multiplication, I have 0, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, all the uh, 4s. And uh, 0, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and 2, 2, 2, 2, and 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Right. 
Okay, we do summation. We use the same way along this direction. Because along this line, all these element, the time index will be same. Uh, here's n equal to zero, and here's h is n equal to zero is here. All right. And do summation. Okay, the first one is zero is zero. Then four plus zero. Then four is three zero. Then four is three two zero. Four is three two one. Uh, 4, 3, 2, 1 4, 3, 2, 1 4, 3, 2, 1, right? Yeah, here should be another 4, right? You can imagine it will be it will be a uh, 10 forever and what is which value will be n equal to 0 you see, this is n 0 this is n 0 so it's this one and this one go to here so, n equal to 0 is here. So the output look like this. Uh, because these this values are all the same, so we can write in a formula. In formula, yeah, in list, we list the value. I have y of n equal to 4, 7, 9, 10, 10, forever. And here's uh, n equal to zero in formula yeah for this this kind we can have a formula right? very easy formula y of n we just use unistep and delta to write it uh, we can have different way first way is I have 4 times delta of n right when time is 0 I have value 4 so you can think this is a parse with step n right peak value is n a parse this the peak is four a peak is four right and seven you think this is also a parse in parse third of n minus one shifted right shifted this is n equal to one so you third shift by one and the peak value is seven and the nine times third of n minus two right shift by two Okay, then the all the rest are 10. So plus 10 times u of n shifted by 3. Right, okay, so we can write this way. Or uh, you can also just use u. y of n, you have 4 of u of n. Right, 4 of u of n. This is a 4, then go to 7, go to 9. Then go to 10, right? Things like that. 4, 7, 9, 10. Then you can think this is a 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, right? So, yeah. So this is 4 of these plus 3 of unit step, but this unit step starts at next, next date, next time. So it is shifted by 1 shifted by one and then I have seven right I need another two more two of you this start at time two and the last one from nine to ten I need one more shifted this is start at three shifted by three okay yeah so we have you uh, can think we can have this result, right? You can use different way to give you answer, but they are same thing. They are same thing. All of them based on this calculation, right? First, first of all, of course, you need to find the values. Then you give the, then you know what are they. Okay. So this is for uh, convolution. This is a method to to calculate the convolution. All right. Uh, but now, not all the cases you can do like that. Here. Uh, I have h only four numbers, right? If h you have infinite numbers, uh, that that summation will be more complex. So mm, usually, if both are infinite, now I have u, I have infinite value, right? But h you only have four values. If both 
input and the impulse response they have infinite non-zero values infinite non-zero values uh, then we do not use this table way this table way because you need a table with size infinite right yeah it's hard okay then it, in that case you just use the uh, definition use the formula uh, you can check this the example last time I gave you right yeah so use the use the definition to do it all right okay this is a convolution Uh, now we consider if we have two system and we combine them uh, combine them what can we have consider LTI systems uh, S1 and uh, S2 suppose they have impulse response H1 of N and H2 of N respectively right two system and each one with uh, impulse response now we can build we can connect S1 and as two to have a new system right new system now we have two ways to combine them uh, first way I use this as one as two We can combine this way. You have input, you have input x of n, output y of n. So this system it works like this. You use input x of n, go into S1, you have output. I see this is a output E1. And the input go to second system S2, you get another output E2. Then E1 plus E2, here's the summation, right? Summation. E1 plus E2 give us Y of N. Yeah. This is a, uh, we call this is a parallel connection. Parallel connect, connection. Yeah, you should know this uh, very well, right? The connect, connection of two parts, you connect them together, like two circuit, you connect them together. And the second way, we can combine them like this. X of N as input go to S1. And then you have output, right? This is a E1, E1 of N. E1, E1 of N, right? I use E1 as input to S2. OK, then we have uh, output. So this is also a way to connect them. I will call this a cascade, cascade connection, connection. All right. So we have two different systems. Then uh, we can claim the following result. Then we have the first, first result is uh, first statement. I will say, a. What it is? I mean, system one and two are both LTI systems. Uh, they are both are LTI. Still LTI. S one, S two, they are LTI. You combine them, no matter in the parallel way or cascade way. The result system is still LTI system. It's your LTI system. All right, this is good, right? You build, uh, you build a new system based on LTI system by this kind of way to connect them. Then you still have LTI system. Okay, this is A. B, 
one. Yeah, this is system, right? This system. What is the impulse response of it? So one has impulse response. H1 plus H2. Yeah, this is the impulse response of the overall system. It contains two parts. Each part, each part, uh, we know what is the impulse response, right? Yeah, H1, right? And S2 has impulse response, H2. Okay, then the overall system. Overall system has impulse response just to summation of these two. And for second system, similar thing. It will have it has a signal as re impulse response. The signal is H one convolution with H two. Convolution is H of two. All right. Yeah. So this is a, I think this is a very important thing. Uh, you can, you can, you know, you can build complex system based on some simple system, simple system, and uh, you can find what is the impulse response of the result system based on the uh, each pieces, each pieces. All right. Yeah. Uh, we can consider a more complex one. The third one. Oh, this is. A, I use this unit. Okay. Third one. I use the summation here. This is a S one system one. System two is here. Can we have the impulse response of these? Here's the x of n. This is y of n. Yeah, this is also you, you build the system, right? Uh, we call this a feedback system. Feedback. Feedback connection. Feedback connection. Yes, you have feedback, right? It's a go back signal. Bo go back as a feedback. Uh, and in this case, S1 and S2, we have different name. Uh, they are different, right? This is, this is go ahead. This is a feedback. So we call these as a plant, and this as a, like a sensor. Something like that. Yeah, depending on your. Uh, problem on uh, model. Okay, I leave it here. Uh, we will use this kind of system in a lot of place, and I put it here. And later we will learn how to find, uh, uh, how to describe the whole system, even complex than these. Maybe you can have several different kind of feedback, right? Yeah. Uh, now you just know. Okay, the basic structure we can have the parallel connection, cascade connection, and for these two cases, we know how to find the uh, impulse response of the whole system. And we also have this structure, the impulse response, uh, we will know how to do it later. All right, okay. So this is the uh, connection. I think I will say something here. Oh, for the for the cascade connection. Actually, for both of them, both of these uh, parallel or cascade connection, uh, you can you can change the order. The result is the same. Okay. You put two in the top and S one in the bottom, or you put the S one in front or S two in front. Uh, you uh, you put S two in front and S one go to the back. Uh, you will have same thing. Result will be same, and uh, related is H one convolution with H two, or equal to H two convolution with H one. 
uh, you check textbook you can find the, the, the proof of this formula it looks not so so obviously you know you see yeah uh, we have the this is convolution right convolution the first one x now is xk and the second one is h there will be h of m minus k if you you change the order you change the order you this one uh, put in the back then if you just look at the formula that's so different right so different if you remove uh, reverse reverse the here will be hk and the x of m minus k uh, looks they are not same not same but actually they are same you change your order you get same thing yeah i don't prove it here if you are interested you check the textbook all right So you change your order, you get the same thing. All right. Okay. Uh, then uh, let's go to the Matla. Yeah. I have ten more minutes. Yeah, I can do something. I already opened here. Okay. So here's a Matla. something here okay I have some space I still have some space you can see both my lab and my nose uh, for my lab here I want to introduce you two functions field and uh, uh, L is linear Sim, they simulate. Uh, simulate. This is a. Uh, mm, this will be a uh, edge. Then the X. Yeah, things like that. Yeah. Okay. So here. A. Is A. Is a coefficient. Coefficient. Coefficient of input coefficient of input and the B the coefficient of output make sense uh, let's see I have give a I will write the, the, the in the beginning of class is here. Yeah, it's here. You see, the system can be written by different equation, right? The output side, we have this coefficient and oh, this is a and b. It's b and l. Okay, as this is a b, this is a. I use the same notation. Then this will be b. This will be a. Sorry. Yeah, I use the same notation. So this a's according to these A's and this B's according to these B's so you use this function uh, you can define the system you can define the system you know the equation that you can put in here you can define the system and this one this is a uh, X is the input H is the impulse response And uh, return this is a function, right? The function will return a value. Return is the output. Return is the output. Okay. Uh, but here H is not impulse response. This is all. Oh, I can give you one more function. The impulse response just impulse. Okay, I use S. Here's S. This is just system. S. S. So, like S equal to this one, and then this one give you output Y equal to this. Right? The impulse, impulse uh, S. This is return is H of N. The impulse response. Yeah. Let me see. We can give like a, 
uh, define the system, uh, system one, which is uh, system one. I use a field. Uh, the name is field. So for for a system, sometimes we call it a field. And here I can give something related with the in the equation, right? Some coefficient. Okay, we have studied uh, uh, the moving average system, right? Moving average system. In the x side, we have three numbers. The input side I have one third, one third, one third. Oh, one third, one third, and the one third. Right? I have three numbers. Three numbers. So these three numbers give us the coefficient in the input side, and the output side just y, right? So this will be the moving average. Moving average. I put example. Moving average. y of n equal to one third times x of n plus x of n minus one and x of n minus two. Okay, yeah, this one. Okay, now I have the system S one, and we can see what is the impulse response of it. Impulse of this system S one. It will give us a graph. My lab shows us a graph. Uh, the value will be from zero up to this will be one third actually, one third, one third, one third, three value. Then all the rest are zeros. So actually, it is this one. Uh, in parts, in parts, this is a uh, in parts response. Is one third, one third, one third. In this one, it is this one. Uh, can I give a graph with just each point, not just like this? Yeah, we can. We can save the impulse. I see. I see h equal to impulse. I use this function in this way. Then the system will not give us the graph. The value will will not go to graph. Just but go to this edge. You can see edge. Yeah, this is edge. One third, one third, one third. Then zeros. Right, this is edge. Okay. And uh, then uh, we want to find the output. Like the output, I use a uh, x. S could be anything. For example, uh, x. I use x. Anything. Uh, for example, I use a random value. Random value. I give uh, twenty values plus three. Okay, I use this one as an input. We can see what is what it what it is. Uh, stem of x. Okay, this is a three plus a random value, right? Okay, this is x. And I let y equal to the output of this system, which is a uh, uh, L S I M system is S one. Input is x. Then I have y. Right? I have y. And S T E M can play display this y. Uh, this is y. Oh, I, I, okay. I can display. X at the same time. I hold it. Hold on. Hold on. Then the graph. When you print, uh, when you give new curve, you are not easily the old, old, old curve. So here I use the um, yeah, X. Or oh, X, I can use different color. That is blue, right? I use a red. Red color. This means red. All right. You can see, uh, 
the red one is the input x input x and the blue one the output y output y uh, some some place they have same point uh, the most case the different right yeah so by this way for any input you can find the output you can find the output you know the equation you know the equation then you can put the value in then you can have you can have it we can try one more now 49 one minute okay we can try one more I use a, a system I use system this time uh, X side I still use this but the Y side I gave some more terms like a point uh, uh, one and one third negative one fifth for example I use these as uh, uh, S1 as a system. Now uh, the equation I contain both uh, right, both x term and y term, right? Both x term and y term. Then the impulse response, impulse of S1. Oh, I, sh I should use S2 anyway. I already have this S1. Hmm? Oh, I hold it so I can. I need to read. I just want to see S1 impulse response of S1, and I put it in H, H2, uh, H, H, just H. Okay, this is H, or oh, this is this one. I can see stem of this H. What it is? Uh, this is the, the impulse response of the second system, right? Second system, and we use the same X, right? I use the same X. Uh, what will be the output? Output. <coughs> okay. Output. Again, have a look. Uh, now this is output. A different output. Okay. Yeah, it just looks like this. So if you you, you want to do it, use a computer is quite easy. But if you want to calculate these kind of things by hand uh, you need more time a lot of time so here I just uh, hope you can do the convolution for the case with few numbers <coughs> you this way you list the table if like here H only four numbers right then you can you can list it yeah if uh, this is a uh, more numbers uh, too large or even infinite numbers uh, you better use computer and of course later we will have some other method uh, we can calculate even even the convolution both go to infinite you have infinite numbers you can do the convolution but you different ways all right okay uh, that's all for today and uh, see you see you Friday right? next time see you Friday